What is happening y'all? Cowboy here and welcome to our next Let's Play. This is Salt and Sacrifice. Now this is the next game I was looking forward to after Elden Ring. I've been super, super excited for this after getting a chance to play the Early Access. Uh, if you've never played the first game, Salt and Sanctuary, highly recommend it. It's on like every platform. I really like it on the Switch personally. Uh, but to give a little backstory here, so the first game, Salt and Sanctuary, was basically like a love letter to Souls games. It was like a 2D indie Souls-like. It pulled a bunch of the mechanics that we're familiar with with Souls. You know, obviously uh, dropping your resources on death, refilling your primary heals when you rest at a shrine or whatever the case is. Uh, you know, poise, weight rolls, parries, blocks, all that stuff that, you know, people are so fond of in Souls, but perfectly translated into a 2D style game. So... The first time I played it, I got mad salty, true to the name of it. I uh, came back about a year and a half later and was like, you know what, I really need to dive deep into this. And it became probably my one of my favorite 2D games. Um, easily my favorite 2D Souls-like. But regardless, here we are with the sequel, Salt and Sacrifice. We had a chance to do early access with this, uh, try it out back on stream a couple months ago. Had a blast uh, just to talk about the classes briefly. I mean, Assassin was really liking the throwing daggers there. Eric was alright, wasn't a giant fan of the heals. Fighter obviously got that unga bunga going on, that was fun. Duelist was fast with the rapier pokes. High Blade was a lot of fun. This was like a katana class, and I did a lot of like parry and follow up attacks, so that was a blast. Uh, Paladin is, is basically just your holy version of like the fighter, you're a little bit tankier. Uh, Ranger had some really fast attacks with the spear, but my personal favorite was the Sage. I had an absolute blast playing the Sage. This game has like a big focus around mage like enemies, and you're able to. Uh, you know, there's a bunch of different rewards after you beat those bosses, but one of the rewards is, you know, they almost always have spells. So, Sage was a blast to play in the early access, and as such, I'm going to be doing a Sage for the Let's Play. Now, whether we do a walkthrough for this, I don't know. Uh, I might, I never actually did a walkthrough for Salt and Sanctuary. Um, I mean, it, it could probably use one, but we'll, we'll see. Let's get through the Let's Play first, we'll see how busy I am, and, and maybe that's something we'll go into. Uh, so, our crime affects our starting gift here. Let's see, that's just a bag of salt. That's always good. Some shooting smuggling. Ooh. Uh, heresy. Forgery. Drunkenness. Brigantry. Blasphemy. Mm, what would my person be guilty of? Probably that. Just, just out there. Just trying to clap all the cheeks drunken in a bar hooking up with the taverns young wench daughter alright that got my blue eyes you know gotta make my character look like me where's where's like that nice short hair ah uh, that's that's kind of I don't really have a fade like that anymore let's do that we'll do short hair A beard. Hang on. Let me give him a beard. He needs a beard. Um, my beard ain't that long anymore. We'll go for like the shorter beard. Almond looks good. All right. Oh, hang on. Why am I? I'm like an elf. An elf. Uh, where's that ancestry? No, how do I get rid of my elf ears? Are they always elf ears? I guess everyone's an elf. Hang on. Crime, body type, ancestry. Screw it. We're a mage elf with a beard. You don't usually see elves with beards, but this elf has one. Hunting mages. I'm gonna also check the audio levels after the first episode. I might need to tweak them, but we'll figure it out. Quick 
Inquisitor's Dagger. I got my Iron Band Stave. switch up my uh oh there we go all right i already got one of those presets on the controller we're good i'm going real hard on this early stuff combat ready aim and fire Form the first boss who's gonna just obliterate us, probably. Oh, nope. Come on, come on. I can do better than this. I'm sure we get some like really badass thing for beating him. I know in the um, back in uh, the original game, if you beat the opening guy, you would get a. It was like a really rare upgrade mat. There were only like, two of them in the game. Spell marks, but stirring. So the mage bane right succeeded. Leo herself must have been watching over you. Hunted that beast in the woods. It was pure luck that Stablehand Bren was nearby. You were on death's doorstep when he brought you back to Pardoner's Vale. Fortunately, I was able to nurse you back to health. You may call me... Oh, it's... <laughs> it's not an old man. You may call me Herbal Ashina. I am the Inquisitor's healer at Pardoner's Vale. Here, take this hearth and flask. Quaff it the next time you are injured. Perhaps you have questions. Yeah, who's this guy? Ah, uh, the name of the gods. Trained mage hunter. God of Healing Wind said that she draws flies from the sick into an urn filled with magical oil where they become butterflies. You would have died in those woods if not for the Mage Bane right you undertook. This region is polluted with warp magic. There's a benefit to it. Those who have undergone the Mage Bane right can stave off death, becoming spell marked instead. Not living, not dead, but animated by the mystical warp that infects this region. There's a way to atone yourself with the spell mark and return to life, but it requires a rare item known as a guiltless shard. Corruption of mages and their minions has a crystallizing effect on whatever purity remains. These solidified masses are shards of pure innocence. Hunt and devour mages and their minions if you wish to atone and become living again. Remember the crime of getting horny. Uh, perhaps your memory is foggy you and you became an inquisitor. You undergone the right. Drunken elixir known as Mage Bane spoke for his words. Many inquisitor initiates make mistaps and the ritual doesn't take hold. Only way to know if it's successful is for one to, under, to die in the presence of magic. When he had fallen in the valley, never to rise again. You're fortunate in that respect. So the fact that they named the valley, I wonder if we'll get to go back there and fight that dude. Because we never got to fight the uh, the monster of the depths in the original. After, like, if you died to him, that was it. You just died. Blacksmith man. Warpsmith. Zachiel. You may call me Zach. We have nothing yet because we haven't killed mages. This is where we upgrade our stuff. I think I need, do I need the hook shot to get up there? Yeah, I do. Champion era. I'm technically in charge here, but I do penance here just as you. You must embark to Ashbourne Village. Speak to Rune Reader Dedelia. Descend the stone steps to the west until you reach a cat, then descend more steps east until you reach the pond. And speak to the person by the mirror gate. I'm trying to remember what was over here. Uh, oh, this is the hunter tool lady. Yeah, that's where we go to like upgrade our flasks and stuff. This is probably locked, yeah. Yeah, the the network test we had a chance to like play the starter area, and that was it.
but it was... I mean, this was like months ago, so rest assured, this isn't, you know, this isn't going to be like the Elden Ring network test where, like, I know what I'm doing for the first, like, hour and a half of the game. There was not too much that we were able to do. You? Okay, you're locked. I think this just loops around. Oh, this is where the person's at, right? Yeah, this is the room portal. We'll come back to them. I want to fully loop around. This is probably locked. Yep. Gotta re-familiarize myself with the hub. Hello, cat. They locked over there, too. It's like a reindeer cat. Yes, you can pet the cat. What else do we got? Ooh, get the shards. Let me stay behind Bren. I suppose she told you to be lucky escape. Hey, that's a good boy. This is another, I need a, the hook thing. I remember, I think I got that pretty early. It's like right around the first boss. It's the tree of skill. The tree, the, the skills in this game are nuts. Look at it, it's a, a huge skill tree. And so what I like is like, you can really be anything. Like starting as a sage, you know, I have the basics in channelers, I have the basic in stave, uh, and I have the basic in forbidden glyphs. But like if I had started as a, uh, a warrior or something, or, you know, a dex class, I would have been just starting going in a different way of the tree. But what's nice is, I mean, it's it's pretty much just your start. You know, you can really take this and, and turn it into whatever you want. Uh, so, let's see. Store runic focus. All right, my first thing needs to be my heal. Then my runic focus. These are, like, consumable heals. Fire bombs. And then guiltless shards. I don't think I want those equipped. I'll, I will use those as needed. And I want to say, I think that thing, did I pick up something to do an upgrade already? No, I didn't. Oh no, I got I got the, the vine thing, but I need the other, the other part. Upgrade either my haze or my hearth and flask. Yeah, so if I become human, uh, it's it's similar to like removing your stuff and and souls, like popping a uh, a shard or whatever. So that blue part of my health bar that will disappear, and I'll have my full health bar. But I think I get that back every time I like kill a boss, anyway. And I think this is yeah, that's to do multiplayer. I'm gonna set up a pass key and connect to people. Afraid. So that's like a parry. It's like a perfect block. Serious hits there. Thanks for the stuff. Wear giant. It's 
I'd like the frost mage up this way. Yeah, there's the bloodberry. Okay, so now I could get that's the thing I needed to get under flask. See how like you do the perfect block, it doesn't cost any stamina. And I think you can... That's right, that's... Okay, now we're activating actual casts. Need the hook shot for that. Um, I'm trying to remember. I know there's like a parry. I don't remember what it was. Oh god, the traps, man. They always get me. That casts. Uh, attacks. No blocks. Uh, hang on. I think maybe I got a two hand my weapon to cast. Alright, attack. A strong attack. Switch weapon is up. Jump, interact, dodge, sprint, lock, ranged weapon. Item previous item, gestures menu. Uh, isn't there a way to set up? Oh, I'll, I'll figure it out. I might not be able to do it with my current setup. This is locked for now. Uh, I'm not going to have the stats to use it, but just to... I don't remember how to parry. I swear I was doing a parry back in the network test. I'll need to remember what it is. It's okay. I, I know how to do my perfect block. That's the most important thing. Uh, this was a hook shot jump, so we can't go there. I was clearing out everything I can at the start before I uh, go for the first boss. If I remember, I think he's just down that way to the left. Yeah, because this is locked up for now. I remember chasing the fire mage through this place. this real fast. The berries turn into more flasks and we've loaded up on ammunition again. Or it might be doing a perfect block and then hitting Y for a heavy attack. Shit! Oh my god. You wanna kill me? Oh, I dodged. Or no, that's right. There's there's a uh there's like a stagger system now that I'm thinking back. It's like after you get a certain amount of perfect blocks. Yeah, that was it. It's it's you need multiple perfect blocks and then you get the follow up. That's what it was. Yep, 
Yeah, it's like based on how much damage you've already done to them. Oh god. Oh, that worked out. There we go. And then... So what do we got here? Or, or... Advanced ally and also amazing. And then just like a... Uh, Drop down. Really bottomed out on stamina. Had no juice left in the tank. Yeah, and this is where we, we leave, because we need the, the hook shot for that. Alright. Let's keep going. It's the shortcut. That's the way to the boss fight, I think. We're just going to get through, like, the first boss and get our hook shot in this episode. Oh, 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 oh. Do not like, do not like at all. Stop blocking. Oh no! This is not good. This is not good. I probably need to kill him to open that door, I'm guessing. Our three hearts of named mages to proceed. just let me let me not do this this is like it's like trying to fight like a black knight in dark souls when you're level one could i kill it yeah sure maybe do i want to lose that amount of health no i do not and that would just take me down on top of him all right let's go fight the we'll go fight the boss because after that i mean i have a fair amount of, of stuff i never checked what was my uh what was the the thing my starting gift Oh, I never put on my my mask. I still had on my blindfold. No, wait. I still have on my blindfold. Rip. Inventory. Cancels active searches. Initiate searches cannot be used while spell marked. The thing. Oh, here we go. Lock of hair bound together as a kind of keepsake. It's a key item. Oh. Um. I don't need those things in my loadout. Orcus, Necklace of Eos. Oh god. No, no, no. Come on, not like this, Orcus. Work his health down. before I start using up all the mage stuff. Got greedy. I want to say he has like a second phase where he starts getting a lot crazier. I might be thinking of a different boss. Oh, that running attack. Forgot about those. Oh. 
trick is you need to it's the stamina, man. Oh god. Oh no. No 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 no. That was a big hit. Fire bomb. way. Uh, I need to fix up the dead zone on my controller. Ooh, there we go. I got, I got kind of sketchy, to be honest. I mean, I don't have anything besides like, you know, your, your, your baby starter spell. So, um, you know, things are going to be a little bit hard until I start actually killing the mages and getting good magic. Right now it's just babies for a spell. I don't need this. I need this. Okay, the mines lead to, I think it was a poison mage that way. And I think, oh no, can I, oh, that's a shortcut I gotta knock down later. That's right. All right. So, um, yes, we got the first guy down. Let's return back to the partner's veil. We're going to do a little bit of leveling up. And we can eat. All right, so the leveling up in this game is a little, well, I wouldn't say weird, but basically the idea is you need to level up first. And as you can see, that's going to give me the black star stone. And then, so you need to spend your salt to level up. You get those, and then you can go into the Tree of Skill, and you can spend those Star Stones uh, to, you know, move around the tree. So, anyway, um, start as a Channeler, Maximum Focus, let's see, Class 2 Channeler, Channeling Rods, Cana Skilled Weapons, Stave Type Weapons, uh, Bane Reader, so I, get, I have, right now I have Forbidden Glyphs, I have staves and I have channeling rods. I need to, I'm trying to remember. I don't remember exactly, uh, wasn't there another another grappling hook over here? I think it's I don't have to spend those. I can save those uh, because I want to, I need to like kill an actual mage first to see which way I'm going to have to go. Well, I guess I could just, I mean, I don't know. But right now, what do I have? Right now I have... So I have a stave and then a channeling rod and then I don't know what the forbidden glyphs are. Like I think the forbidden glyphs that no that's just part of my channeling rod. I don't think I've found any forbidden glyphs yet. Oh, so it just lets me shoot shoot either from here I can go uh, wherever I want. I can upgrade my armor with the Asfer. Okay, I'm not going to upgrade armor. I would could upgrade my stave or my rod. Uh, I mean, upgrades are good, but I kind of want to hold off until I've killed a mage and then start working. Well, I don't know. I mean, it's like, I guess, I guess the best bet would be 
we will kill our first mage and then see um, what things are looking like in terms of available. Because I don't know how they've they've changed up the the loots. Uh, oh no, I don't have one. I just got a regular berry. Damn, that sucks. Oh well. Um, so yeah, let's wrap up. No, you know what? No, I I know that I'm gonna probably use this weapon. Um, let me let me go put points. Let me put points into staves. Type weapons. No. That's the staff and the sword. I haven't found forbidden glyphs yet. Channeling rocks. Resolve determines your maximum focus points. And it improves Arcana. Yeah. I need to wait until I find more weapons. I don't wanna I don't wanna pre-level up. I mean you can you can reset some points, but y'all know me. I'm like, I need to know exactly what I'm doing before I before I get into it. I don't wanna level up I'll start leveling up staves and then it turns out the thing I wanted was like a channeling rod or something so we'll wrap up here I'm uh, gonna probably keep this I'm thinking of like two a day or something I think that that sounds pretty good thank you uh, but yeah we're gonna wrap things up here we're gonna head on back start hunting some mages in the next episode so y'all stay tuned and I will catch you soon with some more